integrals, we have what was the Bradley equation here. The equation of a curve is y equals to a root x minus 2x. First part, find the coordinates of the stationary point of the curve. Part 2, find an expression for the second derivative. And hence, or otherwise, that means either you use that or these other methods as well. Determine the nature of the stationary point. It's a goal. You have won the lottery. <laughs> you have not already prepped for your question. Yeah. You are ready. I can see that. <laughs> now you see that. Now you will be prepared. Yeah. That's okay. If you are not confident at first, but then it's you work through the course. The also the, the thing that I want to bring home here is that don't uh, skip this time out. You follow what I'm saying? First question, last question, if you don't want to do everything. But if possible, do all of them. Especially if the topic is not really, you don't really get the topic at first. I would not advise you to cherry pick things. You have to work through the content, okay? That's the only way you can answer questions. And also, look at the examples carefully before you attempt to do the exercise for them. So when you are doing question 3, we are you saw that uh, maybe you have to use the uh, table. No. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> My phone is wet, and someone else will think that this is the same as the screen. I will send it. Yeah, you 
you want to write the zone break, unless if you do so, there should not be books. Right, there will be somebody who will be checking my class. Okay, Mr. Brett, why is it quiet? Are you okay? Are you coping? Yes, sir. Go on, please, go on. Second derivative, d square y over dx squared. So we still have to do our presentation though on, on the vector story. But we're going to use the bottom to record. <laughs> she somehow deleted the presentation. But you still have the other one on the USB. So you have to read the USB on the computer. You can't wait for us to get to the maximum of the, minimum, the practical application. Or in the box. Then that will be done. There's a summary of everything. But you should not skip that. Mm. Oh. Which means I'm going to go here. Then take the exam with your little test. Yeah, this one's like revising, revising everything that is done there. But they are putting more meat to it. It's actually work that we must do. So I'll be doing these using that tablet of mine. And then just put. So that you can in the week, so on, on Tuesday, right, Monday you have the test, Tuesday, I'll give you the first few stuff of integration, especially the rules. Video. Right? Yeah, but you should be able to do the first page this one up to see the rules yeah. of that. So the rules of that. That's that right. the way we started with that. Okay, uh, let us see if you agree with Mr. Bradley. You are. Next. Therefore, it's a maximum point. Don't write my name here. It's a maximum point. Okay, okay, okay. So, we get it. Anyway, so, you know the function from 8 root x to 8 x to the power of half. Minus it. That is easier now to differentiate. Alright? So that's why that is 4, take away 1, okay, that is good. Let that equal to 0, move the 2 over, divide by 4. Um, that's a half. Why did you put the 1 over x? Ah, okay, the x is over that. Let me, let me, I, I, I'm okay with that, right? I just want to do something else, so that you can also consider that, right? When you get to this part. So you have got 4, x raised to the power, negative power, is equal to, I want you to remember when we did indices, okay? How to make that base to be positive. So, when I have x raised to the power, negative power, half, is equal to 2 upon 4, if you divide that. So x raised to the power of x to the power of half, then you're going to multiply this. You're going to square that, but not just that you're going to square that to the negative value. Because you want to get rid so that the base here is just x to the power of 1. <coughs> so we're going to multiply this with the index. So what you do on one side, you do on the other side. So this is a half, by the way. So when you square that, that says you take that, so this is going to be 2 squared. You follow what I mean? And then if x is equal to 4. You see? Still get to the same answer, but just don't forget what we have learned in our previous work. 
But there's no problem with what you do. Yes, sir. Okay, just don't forget that in the system. I'll be there still with that yes. when we're dealing with that. You are, the base is unknown, you are something here related to this inverse of that power. Yes. Right, so then you have x equals to 4. Then obviously, uh, what do you do now? They want you to find the y value as well. Did they ask the y value? Find the coordinates. Ah, find the coordinates. Good, so you have to substitute that into the function, the original function, you get 8, so that is correct. That takes care of that particular question. Then you find the second derivative, second derivative of that, so it's negative 2x raised to that power. Good, and then you substitute for the x value in, you get this value, and this is greater than 0, therefore we are dealing with that. And then this is not to the point. Good. Any questions? Anybody? Everybody understands? Yes, sir. Do what you can do.